Stampers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, I am going to be working with the Pattern Play Pattern Party um, host designer series paper and the sweet ice cream stamp set. I am trying to find myself on YouTube, so give me a moment. And I'm going to share this to Facebook so that people can join us before we get started here. Come on in, everyone. Welcome to the hive. Hello, hello, say hello if you're watching. I know this is an unscheduled live, but guess who forgot to make a video because I was enjoying my Thanksgiving break. My husband had to work on Thanksgiving, so we spent time with him on Friday and I forgot to do a video for today. So I decided to go live. So I have a little bit of a plan, but not much of a plan. I had um, found two pieces of cardstock that I had cut that layered together and I need to measure them because I don't know what size they are, but I wanted to use them. This is how I got started with a card. So let's see. The, this is Flirty Flamingo and it's four inches by two and a half. So I'm assuming this is probably three and seven eighths by what? Two and three eighths? Something like that. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We are gonna go over the buzzworthy business of the day before we get started. So we have the um, Lots of Fun Paper Pumpkin Kit coming up. This kit is um, available for you to subscribe to until December 10th. So you still have time to subscribe to get this Paper Pumpkin Kit. And this kit includes enough products to make nine cards with coordinating envelopes. And there is a link in the description box for you to sign up for my Paper Pumpkin Kits. And I try to make alternates every month, so... Go ahead and subscribe for that so you can make lots of fun things. Then we have our kits collections. These are the kits that can only be found online in the Stamp It Up store. So if you would like to see all of our kits, go to stampitup.com slash kits and you will find everything there. Then I just want to remind you, we still have the Eden's Garden collection going. Um, this is the early release from the January to June 2022 mini catalog. And in this collection, there's a stamp set, some dies that you can purchase together as a bundle and save 10%. We also have some specialty designer series paper, some cotton paper, and some gems. These three items are only available while supplies last or till January 3rd, whichever comes first. So if you don't want to miss out on that, go ahead and get your items now. Then we have our host code. If you're going to make a purchase from me, I would appreciate it if you use my monthly host code. This is the code for November. It will change for December. Every month there is a new code. You can find these codes on my blog at honeybeestampinhive.com or on my Facebook page, Honeybee Stampin' Hive. And if your order is over $150, do not use this code because you will be getting Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stamp It Up. Okay. And lastly, we have our join special. This is a very, very good deal here. So what is what am I talking about join special? 
Well, if you ever thought about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or you ever wondered if there was a way for you to always get a discount on your products from Stampin' Up!, you could join my team. The kit to start is usually $99, but right now to the end of November, it's on sale for $75. What do you get for your $75? Okay, first off, you get free shipping. Secondly, you get to choose $125 of product from any of our current catalogs, even the online store, um, the, what is it called, the clearance rack, if you choose to get things from there, okay? You'll get a paper pumpkin kit, a business supply pack, and you just pay $75 plus your tax. Awesome deal. So that's $50 in product extra over your $75 that you're going to be getting. And I would love to have you join my team. I am a growing team, so I would love to have you. We're very small and personal, so we get to, you know, talk more with each other because we're so small right now. But I would love, love, love to have you join my team. So now that all of our buzzworthy business is out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. If you are here watching, please say hello and where you're from. So... I know I'm going to be using the Pattern Play, Pattern Party. Why do I keep calling it Play? Pattern Party Design Series Paper. That is a host-only item. You have to purchase that with your Stampin' Rewards dollars. And so these are the two patterns that I chose. And I have some Granny Apple Green that I'm going to cut down for a matting layer. And we're going to start there because I really don't know what... I am making so we're gonna do this at five and a quarter by four that's gonna be one of our layers I'm not sure if I'm gonna need any more of that then we have a card base of basic white the thick that I've um, already have cut because I cut these down as soon as I get my pack of paper I just cut all of my basic white thick to card bases because that's all I use it for. <laughs> so that's why I just grabbed this because it was already ready. So we're going to have this go here. Oh, I could have did that better. Did I didn't line that up too good, but it'll be okay. So we're going to have that there. And I know I wanted to use these two pieces and I'm thinking about doing like a half and well, not maybe half, but something like this. Yeah. Okay. So this is already cut down to four. So we're going to have to cut it down to three and seven, eight. So we can see some of, hmm, maybe I'll do three and three quarters. That way we can have more of the granny apple green show. Three and three quarters by, let's say that's five and a quarter. Let's do four. Maybe. Four. I think that'd be good. Okay, so that's going to be by four. Then we're going to cut this one down to, hmm, let's do two. Two inches. And we have to do this by three and three quarters. And we're going to put this about right here. Ooh, do I have any ribbon? Because that looks like a perfect place to put some ribbon. What color? <laughs> Let's see. We can put this right here. Oh, I think I like that. Okay. Um, Ribbon. Let's see. Colors we have in this paper. Let me see. The colors in this paper are basic black, crushed curry, flirty flamingo, granny apple green, Misty Moonlight, Pale Papaya. Petal, I do have some Pale Papaya ribbon. Petal Pink. No, not Petal. Oh, no, I do have Petal Pink in here. And I don't know if that Pale Papaya is going to go. What do you guys think? Are you there? Can you say hello so I know I'm not talking to myself? <laughs> um, let's see. We have some Petal Pink. I think the petal pink might looks like it's um, supposed to be flirty flamingo. 
Hmm, and Poppy Parade. Well, I think these are the only two colors I have besides black. I do have a nice um, black. Hmm, I think I want some color though. I think I'm gonna use the petal pink. And we're going to cut this with some scissors. So let's go ahead and do that. Just cut a piece. Oh, and this is the, I'm sorry, this is the Blushing Bride. This is not petal pink. I knew it was looking off, so guess what? We're not going to use it. I was like, that color doesn't really look like it matches too much, but... Mm, I wish I had some Granny Apple Green. That would really look better. We could make some Granny Apple Green ribbon. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. I have some white um, crinkled, what is this called? The crinkled seam binding. And we can make that granny apple green. So let's do that because I think the green would look better. Ooh, let's see, I need some scrap paper and a granny apple green stamping blend. This is the dark. And we are going to color. Let's see about that much. This is a way you can get ribbon in all the colors. Just buy white ribbon and color it. Now, do I need a bow? That's the question. Because I don't always put a bow just because I have ribbon. But I know this ribbon ties very well. So maybe I should color a little bit more to make a bow. I think that would be a good idea. Hi, Douglas. Pink, please. Oh, hello from Germany. Hi, Sandra. All the way from Germany. Welcome. Welcome to Honeybee's Stamping Hive. If this is your first time joining me, Please do click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, so we have our pieces here for the ribbon. We could have colored it flirty flamingo, couldn't we? But I've already done it, so we're gonna use the green. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down what I already have done so I won't lose what I'm doing. Because <laughs> you guys know I will get off track and so I have some Tombow liquid glue here. We're just going to glue down this um, layer of designer series paper to our Granny Apple Green cardstock. Then we're going to put this one down at the bottom. Try to give it the not same border at the bottom that it's at the top. making sure it's straight let's see and I'm gonna get some tear and tape to secure our ribbon if I can find the end okay and I did get these pieces mixed up so I'm hoping this is the one I cut to go around let's see we'll use they look like they're the same size <laughs> So we'll just use this one. And if you can hear my daughter in the background talking, I apologize, but she is in her room with the door closed. Thank you. I, I like the green with it, Sandra. Okay, just trying to get this taped on here. So we have that, and I think we can go ahead and put this layer down to our card base. So let's release the backings of this double-sided tape, the tear and tape. This ribbon is really thin, so I'm not gonna worry about like having all this extra in the back because yeah, it's thin. It's not gonna create much bulk. And I like this liquid glue, as you guys know, because it gives me wiggle room. Because, you know, me and straight don't usually get along. 
but it looks like I'm doing everything pretty good today. How about that? Okay, so now it's time to get to some stamping. We have to do some stamping. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. Let's see here. What do I want to do? So I know I want this to be going like this. So, oh, I have the punch. Excuse all the noise. I forgot I have the ice cream builder punch. I've never used this stamp set before. I have used the um, punch, but never this stamp set because I didn't buy them together. Oh, for some crazy reason, I thought I didn't want the stamp set. And then, yeah, I did. <laughs> so, since we're going to use the punch, we're going to use this image. Ooh. There, that's a kind of a big block for that. Let's change that. And we're going to make this a birthday card. So let's get happy birthday because this looks like a bright and cheery birthday card to me. Instead of a thank you. Oh, sorry for all the noise, guys. So we'll put that on our block. And we're going to need our cone. So let's get that. Let me just take this off for now because it's making too much noise. So let's get our cone ready. And do we want sprinkles or dots? I like the dots. Mm, no, maybe I'll do sprinkles and I'll do something else with the dots. I'm going to try to use a lot of these stamps. <laughs> so we have our sprinkles. Just getting everything ready. We have our dots because I, I can't believe I forgot to make a video last night because I don't usually go live. But I want to have a video for this week, so I had to go live. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else is in here? Oh, we can do a waffle cone. So we would need the stamp to make that little design on the cone. Okay, so we got some pieces together. I'm going to need some scrap paper because I want to do some punching as well. So let's get... I keep some um, whisper... Not whisper white, basic white. Regular basic white um, cut at five and a quarter. Five and a half by four and a quarter. So I can have, you know, scraps to stamp on. So what we're going to do is stamp our cone and cinnamon cider. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's what I want to do. And I'm not sure how the punch is set up. So I don't know exactly where I should be. Let me see. I should be punching my cone or stamping my cone to make it... Um, less waste less waste <laughs> of my paper so i'm gonna just stamp this about right here oh that's kind of dark hmm i wonder if we'll see our little i'm gonna use some early express so i think to stamp the little hash marks to make it a waffle cone because that cinnamon cider stamped a little darker than i thought Okay, that worked out. And let's see if we can punch this out. Yep, I did it right. And we're going to punch that out. Okay, so now we're done with that part. But I'm going to close this cinnamon cider, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm not sure. I think I want to do more than one cone. What color should we make our ice cream? That's the question. But ice cream, ice cream, color, color. Um, hmm. I like strawberry cheesecake ice cream. So we could do some polished pink. Or flirty flamingos should be the color, right? So let's do that because that's the color we have of cardstock. So let's do some flirty flamingo ice cream. And we'll do that. Let's look at the punch again. If I put it in, I need to put it on this side. Going this way. So we'll do our flirty flamingo ice cream with some sprinkles. 
And the sprinkles I am going to do with Granny Apple Green. Let's get the colors in here. So I guess this is not going to be strawberry cheesecake after all, is it? <laughs> and you can't really see it on there. But it's there. Maybe I should have done it hmm, in Poppy Parade. That's one of the colors, too. Let's check that out. Let's close up this green. Let's get some Poppy Parade. Let me get my stamping. Um, my Simply, Simply Shammy to clean off this sprinkles. We don't want to contaminate the color with green. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Guess I should have. Hmm. Should have put that more in the center. So we're just going to do that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this thing punched out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to cut this at the bottom. Cut this one off. So we can get our punch in there. Cut us some ice cream. I like ice cream. Only flavored. I don't like plain ice cream. My favorite is... um. I thought it was strawberry cheesecake. I really like it from Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Not sponsored, just saying that's what I like. But I really like their, um, they have something I think it's called ice cream sandwiches or cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. It's cookies and milk. Hi, Cindy. South Carolina. Hmm, I have some family there. My husband's family. Let's see. Let's see. We have our ice cream cone here. That's how this is going to fit on here. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to need more than one. So, what are the sentiments in this stamp set? You guys, I really have never even... Hmm... Because I want to put happy birthday. Will that even fit on here? Nope. We're going to have to cut another strip for the happy birthday. So let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 I could turn the card like this. Because I had it in mind to do it a portrait. But I can make it landscape. That way the happy birthday will fit. Happy birthday. And we can put the ice cream, a couple of ice cream cones on here. I think I'm going to turn it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So how many ice creams should I do? Three. So we have a strawberry. We need a chocolate. And what else? Mint chocolate chip, maybe? So let's see, let's see. Let's do a couple of more cones here then. So we'll do... Um, where's my scrap paper? I'm going to stamp off with the cone so they won't be so dark. And maybe that'll look better. And then we can do our sprinkles. Not sprinkles, the um little hash marks without, yes, without stamping off. And we won't have to use another color. There we go. And we get our punch and punch those out. You guys, I have partial plan here, okay? So the rest of it, I'm just winging it. Oh, that wasn't a smart idea. So let's do our ice cream so we can cut this paper down. What kind of ice cream do we want? You guys give me some ideas for the color of this ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, what color would that be from the colors in the designer series paper? I've lost the paper. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if it was mint, hmm, we can do a pale papaya. Ooh, a crushed curry. What color? Ooh, like that would be like a pineapple, wouldn't it? Let's do that. A crushed curry. Where's my crushed curry? Crushed curry. Let me clean off my stamp here so we can make us some crushed curry ice cream. That'd be like pineapple. 
Mmm. I like pineapple ice cream with coconut. Mmm. Oh, I got my paper dirty here. Let's do it right here. Oh, I guess I need to open the ink, don't I? <laughs> that would help. <laughs> open up the ink. Make sure I don't stamp. The oh, you see what I did? I stamped it right on the back of there. We don't want that because I like that comb. So we're going to stamp that here. That doesn't look too pineapple-y. But we're going to work with it. So this one, do we want sprinkles on this? Let's do some more sprinkles. Why not? This time, I'm going to get... Um, some Stampin' Right markers and color some of them a different color so that we can have some festive looking sprinkles. So that was Pacific Point and then I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. And I didn't clean it off so there was already some Poppy Parade on there. We're just going to stamp that on. Oh, I like it. Let's cut that out. Then we'll do one without sprinkles. I think that will be our chocolate. Okay. So, uh-oh. My punch. I'm about to make a loud noise because my punch just got stuck. Usually if I drop it, it pops back out. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut this so we can get our cone for our, our last ice cream. So there's our last cone. We need one more flavor of ice cream. Oh, no. <clears throat> My voice is trying to go away. So what could we do for the last flavor of ice cream, you guys? What color? Maybe a green color? Because Misty Moonlight. Um, yeah, maybe we should do green with some chocolate chip sprinkles. I think that's what we're going to do. So where's my chamois? Let's get this stuff cleaned off. We're going to do some chocolate chip. So we need to get Granny Apple Green. Doo -doo. I just had it. Here it is. We're going to get some Granny Apple Green here for the ice cream. Put that right there. And then we'll get some early espresso to get chocolate chip sprinkles. Oh, that's lovely. I like that one. I'm closing up these inks because I will make a mess. I will put my hand in there. So hopefully I left enough for me to hold on. Now we have our ice cream. Okay, so now we have all of those. Let's get some stuff out of the way here that we are not gonna be using anymore. Put those to the side so we won't make a mess. Okay, so I am going to, hmm, I'm gonna use this one in the middle. So I'm gonna put this together with some Stampin' Dimensionals, I think. Yeah. So where are my dimensionals? So what I want to do is cut a little thin piece. So I'm just going to cut a border, part of my border. I don't know if this is too long or not, almost. But we're going to just cut this little thin scrap of the border of the dimensionals. Oh, come on. Let's see how far, yeah. We're just going to put this right at the top of our ice cream cone and we're going to pop up the ice cream portion. 
And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back and pop this up once more. And that's going to go. And then the rest, I think we will just put together with glue. So where's my glue? Does anybody see where I put my glue? Oh, here it is. So we're just going to put a little thin piece of glue at the top of these. Put our ice creams on. Hope I'm in frame. I did go down a little low there. Hi, what are your, how do you say your name? Lisa? Liz? Liz? From Ontario? Mint macaron with chocolate chips. Oh, that would have been good if I would have looked up. <laughs> if I would have looked up in time. Welcome. Okay, let's see. So I think we're going to put, we're going to have to have these like hanging off. What color do we do the happy birthday? That's the question. Happy birthday. I think I'm going to just do that in black. Just because we have the um, black check on there. So let's get our stamp and pierce mat back out here. So we can stamp our birthday greeting. And I, since I haven't used this stamp, whoop, I want to kind of rub this. Because with the images, I knew they would stamp okay. But when it's the sentiment, I want this to be very clear. I'm going to go in here. And I probably should use the stamp apparatus. That way, if it's not to my liking, I can stamp right over it and get it as dark as I want it. But it's a lot of stuff already out. So we're going to just hope that doesn't look like it's inked up enough for me. Let me stamp on a scrap paper to test it out. Because that usually helps when you first use a photopolymer. Okay. I'm going to put our birthday right up here. Happy birthday. And then we're going to... Close this ink up before we make a mess. That's what we're going to do. And I wanted to use these little dots. I think I wanted to put them in the background. So what color can we do that? Let's do that in like a, the misty moonlight. But stamp off so that it will be a very light color in the background. Because I did take that off. I mean, take that stamp out. So we might as well use it since I have it out. So we're going to stamp off. It's still kind of bright. I mean, dark. Got to rotate your stamp. <laughs> oh, and I stamped off twice and it still came out a little dark for me. Rotate. Oh. Rotate this stamp. I don't know, I might be making it too busy now, but it's okay. I'm committed now. <laughs> I am committed. Okay, so now we have that. I think that is all the stamping we're gonna do, unless I wanna add with sprinkles on top. So let's go ahead and glue this down to the flirty flamingo layer. It's a little busy. I went overboard. So we want to put these two cones. They might not even fit. Because I wanted this one to be in the middle. Is this going to work? We might have to cut some more paper because I am not liking those little dots on the background now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? We might have to put a banner across so our birthday sentiment would stand out more. 
I don't know how to do these. I need to put them more together like this. I think I'm going to cover that up and put a happy birthday at the bottom. That's what I'm going to do because I don't like it. So we'll just get rid of it. We will just get rid of it. See how that works? Put those there. And this one right, let me see, right here. So let's scoot this over a tad bit more so that we make sure we cover up all the words. <laughs> I didn't like it, so now I'm changing the design. But that's okay. We can do that. So now I'm going to glue this down to our card base. Make sure it's going the right way. Okay, so now we're going to stamp her happy birthday again. Now, um, and I'm thinking I didn't really like it in black. I don't know where I put the sentiment stamp. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Where's my, I need some more scrap paper. I've used all of that up. I have some. I keep all of my scraps, you guys. Do you guys do that? Because I'm like, I might need a little strip for a sentiment. Like this. I might need that. So I keep them when I'm cutting my paper down. Okay, let's clean this off because I don't think I want to use black. What color should we use for the sentiment? Maybe flirty flamingo. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do flirty flamingo and see how that turns out. Because I didn't really like it in the black. It was too plain. It didn't pop. I want it to pop. So let's do it in flirty flamingo oh that's that was a perfect piece what size is this it's one inches wide okay so that that's perfect and we can get the tailored tag punch and put some banners on the ends of this That's cute. Banner the ends. We can put that right down there. And what I'm gonna do is get my Granny Apple Green Stampin' Right marker. And just go around the edges of this um, cardstock to make it stand out more. And it also serves like instead of layering it with another piece of cardstock, It'll look like it's kind of layered. Just a little trick to make it look like it's a layered piece, and it's not. Yeah, that looks better than the way I had it. So we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals right over the bottom of our cones. Here are our dimensionals right here. Let's see. We don't need one in the middle because that part is already popped up. I'm just going to put this right on here. Hi, Judy. Welcome. We're um, finishing up here, trying to anyway. <laughs> so that's good there. So now, if I was really planning this out, I could have put happy birthday and then a little strip that says with sprinkles on top. Because isn't that one of the sayings with sprinkles on top? We could still do that. I can heat emboss it. How long have we been on here? I might be trying to do too much, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that I did just popped in my head. So I want to try it. And that's, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's some black cardstock? Black, black, black. I need a scrap piece of black. Do I have any scrap pieces? Yes, I do. Okay. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way because I have a mess going on here and I need space so I can see what I'm doing. Give me a second. Give me a moment to get myself together. I'm missing a color. Okay. So we are going to heat emboss this. I just need to get some space here. Get these stamps out of the way this punch out of the way my marker these scissors okay okay we got enough space so what i'm gonna do is get out my heat embossing scrap paper we're gonna get our anti-static this is my embossing butter my embossing buddy stamp it up does not sell this anymore however you can find them at other craft supply places. And we are going to stamp this. This is a sentiment, so we're gonna need our stamp and pierce mat. I am rubbing the stamp to get the factory. Um, it usually has like a little film on it, like oils or something. We're gonna get that off. And we're gonna heat emboss this in white. I'm looking for my white, okay. My white embossing powder. So we have that ready. Our Versamark ink. And we're going to ink this up. And I'm going to try to stamp it at the bottom as straight as I can. Close up our Versamark. We don't want to get any embossing powder in that. Move our stamp and pierce mat and get ready for some magic. Ready for some magic. There. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have stamped it a little straighter, but it looks pretty good. Okay, let me clean this up so we can get our t heat tool out. It looks great as is. I know. I'm, I'm trying to do too much, but I really think I want it the wet sprinkles on top since I used all the sprinkles. So I'm going to try it and see how it's going to look. Excuse all the noise for a moment, you guys. That was hot. <laughs> I like to heat it from the back because when it's, especially when it's, um, oh my goodness. Okay. Whatever. When it's small letters like that, so it won't blow off all of the powder. So I'm going to give this a little chop down, a little trim. I want it to be a little straighter, but I'm going to try to do that on the card. Let me see. I wanted this to tuck under there, so I need to cut a little bit more off. I just want this to be tucked right under there like that. I think that'd be cute. It won't be too much, I don't think. And we still have some ribbon left. Let me see if I can pull this up because it'd be easier to glue this down when it's not on. Okay. So let's get a little bit of liquid glue to put right at the top here. We're going to put this on here like that. Then I'm going to just add more liquid glue to the back of my dimensional since I pulled them up. And it might have lost a little sticky. But I do want to add one more dimensional now that we... Probably a partial dimensional. Cut a little piece of that border off. 
just so that the um, new piece we put on will stand up as well. If I can get it on there and not on me. I like it. It was good the way it was. You did. I took it off before and I didn't like it because it helps me to hold the paper down when I'm cutting it. But I put it back on. <laughs> I took it off too, but I put it back on. So let's see. We'll have this right here. Oh, nope. Nope. Scoot over a little bit more. Get it more centered. There we go. Oh, I like it like that. I think happy birthday with sprinkles on top. Yay. Okay, where's our little ribbon we had for our bow? Do we need a bow? Because I colored the ribbon. We can see. Let me tie it and see where we can put it. Let's see. I'm just looking to see if there's any more comments I need to check out. I forgot to post share to Facebook. <laughs> so we, I need to share my video even though I'm almost at the end but that's okay we'll get some people here we'll get some more people watching us that didn't tie too good I twisted my bow my ears let's see let's see here We want a smaller bow. That's too long. I don't want my bunny ears that that big. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it needs a bow. Because where would I put it? Where would I put it? No bow, right? Because I don't think the bow would look good anywhere. What do you guys think? Let me know. Because I'm not feeling the bow. I was just trying to use it because I, um, yeah, because I c colored the ribbon. No bow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So what I need to do is just, um, just probably put my bling on now. So what do we want to use for bling? That is the question. So let's get some bling out. Let's see what we have. Colors, colors, colors. Where's the paper? Granny Apple Green, Misty Moonlight, Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade, Pool Party. Ooh, something with Pool Party. I've been using, I've been using these artistry blooms. Oh, well, I think I want to use these. Because they have, like, orangey, like, for, oh, yeah. Artistry Bloom, it is. And these already have adhesive on them. Let's see. I'm just going to put a couple random ones. Just randomly. Oh, yeah. I like this. Because we can do different colors. We can add different colored ones. Let's see, let's see. Pop one right there. Pop a darker one there. Let's do a darker one right here. Let's get some of this blue. What colors are these again? Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, Rich Razzleberry, and Coastal Cabana. These are not the colors in the paper, but because they're the sequence, they're kind of... Hmm, they can take on other colors depending on what they're around. Two, four, five. I, I want two more because I want some of these. I want some of these. I'll put a big one 
on this flower here. And let's do one more right there. And call that done. Yay! I like it. <laughs> I like my bling. Can't pick this up. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like this card. I think I like making cards like when I don't have anything in mind because they always come out better than if I plan it. If I plan them, I think I overthink because this was not planned. I didn't have time to overthink. See how that works? Thank you, Judy. Okay, you guys, I want to remind you one more time that we are having a join special. So if you would love to join Stamp It Up, I would love to have you on my team, Honey Bee Stamping Hive. We have a join special. The kit is originally $99, but it's on sale for $75. So you're going to be getting $50 in extra product because for your $75, you will get to choose anything that you want out of our catalogs, our current catalogs, or the clearance rack for $125 worth. So $75 is what you pay plus tax. You get up to $125 worth of product plus a stamp it up um, paper pumpkin kit plus a starter um, business starter supply kit. Free shipping right to your door. You will be active till what is this? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, I think to the end of May. You'll get at least a 20% discount. You can work it as a hobby demonstrator, meaning you, you know, collect a couple of orders and place your orders to get your discount. You know, that's a hobby. You can be a business builder and do it and, you know, do classes and videos and parties, whatever, however you want to do it and try to earn money, you know, as a business. Or you can just join as a discount shopper. You can join my team and just join just to get the discount. I welcome all. <laughs> Whatever type of demonstrator you want to be, it's your choice. And if you find out this is not really for you, just don't do anything else. Nothing else would happen. You get to keep everything that you have in your kit and you just go back to being a customer. But I would love to have you join my team. So if that's something you're interested in, you can contact me. I have my email address on my blog. It should be down below in the description box. And you can also go to shopwithshauna.stampitup.net and you can get more information there as well. But there is a link in the description box for you to join. So if you're thinking about it, I really would love to have you on my team. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I really appreciate you all joining me. Um, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video or go live because you see this was a random live I just go live whenever I <laughs> get the urge to or forget to record a video because I was enjoying Thanksgiving break too much um but yeah that's it you guys as always I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today until next time buzz you later bye